Good morning guys! Welcome back to another video. Today is a really exciting day. We are filming a pack and prep video for our batch bachelorette, bachelor bachelorette, joint batch bachelorette party in Scottsdale, Arizona. We leave tomorrow at like 6 a.m. So today is strictly packing and prepping for this trip. So it's about 9.30 in the morning right now. First things first, we're going to get our nails done because I have not had my nails done in ages. I was giving them a break because I was getting them done back to back and they were just getting so weak and frail. So today we're getting our nails done and I got some inspo already. So I'm really excited to show you guys what I get. The nail spot is like 15 minutes away. I've already had breakfast. I've been awake for like an hour and a half. We just have so much to do today. And it's all good things because I took the day off. So I have plenty of time today. And yeah, I'm bringing you guys along with me. I am filming this as just like a continuation from the end of the last vlog that I have to edit. So I just uploaded that content this morning to um, my computer. And then I also have a vlog before that that I also have to edit. So it's just like... I don't know, I'm really contemplating bringing my laptop on this trip so maybe I can do some editing like on the plane or at the airport or something because I have a lot of editing to do guys. My back's up with editing, which is a good thing. Um, but yeah, so I'm off until today's Thursday. We leave tomorrow and I'm off until the following Tuesday. I mean, what am I saying? Today's Tuesday. <laughs> today's Thursday. Did I say Tuesday? Today's Thursday and then I'm off until Tuesday. I go back to work Tuesday. So I'm really excited guys. It's like 100 degrees in Arizona though. So pray for us. Um, but yeah, let's go get our nails done. I made my coffee here. Um, so I'm just going to bring that and yeah, let's go. Excuse the mess, but I wanted to just show you guys my outfit real quick. I wear this literally all the time. Um, but I'm wearing this tank top from Amazon and I love it's like a square neck. So um, this will be in my Amazon storefront. I love these tank tops. They came in like a pack of three of a brown and a white and I wear them all the time. And then I have my Gymshark um, like crop jacket, which I also wear all the time. My Lulu crossbody. And then these like joggers that I got from like TJ Maxx or something a really long time ago. So yeah, that's the outfit. I'm probably just gonna throw on my Nike slides because I'm getting my toes done and my it's actually cold outside um it's like 68 degrees right now that's why i'm wearing a jacket so yeah i'm kind of excited that we're going to the the heat in scottsdale because we're gonna go swimming and stuff and like 68 is just like not the vibe for swimming plus all the pools are closed here in the dmv so yeah let's go wait i made a double shot and this is so strong It's okay. We're, we're gonna work with it today. I need caffeine. Like, I need a lot because it's gonna be a long day. All right guys, so just finished my nails. It took literally two hours, but when I came outside, it was so hot. I was like, oh my God, I hope my camera doesn't overheat like or melt in the car. <laughs> it's literally like almost 90 degrees outside now and it was 68 when I went in. But guys, I am obsessed. So I got regular French on my toes. I'm not gonna show you guys my toes, but look at my nails. <gasps> Y'all, she absolutely snapped. Like I... Are, are, are you kidding? I'm gonna be like talking like this for the next two weeks. Like this. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Okay, but I have to give props to my girl, my one of my favorite vloggers, one of my favorite YouTubers, Kayla Cake. Thank you, Kayla. Shout outs to Kayla, cause I saw this photo she posted and I screenshotted it. And ever since I'm like, I need to get these nails. I don't know if you could see them in the picture, but she got the same thing, so. I'm obsessed. I love them. Bradley's gonna love them so much. And at first, I was like, I think she did them way too long. 
um, but she actually, like, when she filed it down and cut them down and everything, they're, like, the perfect length. And I actually really love oval because they're just more functional. Anyways, I love them so much, guys. Okay, let me tip her real quick before I forget. Let me do that now. And then I'm going to head home. I need to do the math. Okay, so I'm going to go home and then I'm going to try to run to Costco, I think, next. Actually, let me check my to-do list. So, nails done. I have a wax appointment at 3, which is much needed. <laughs> it's been a little while, guys. But I wanted to wait um, until we went on this trip to get, like, a fresh one. Yeah, so I'm going to head home. And then we're going to take the wagon to Costco. So, I'm probably just going to walk there since it's close enough. So, I'll see you guys when you get home. From Costco and I'm gonna go freshen up real quick in the shower so I can go to my wax appointment at 3 it is 2 23 and the wax place is like right by Costco so I'm gonna walk there again yeah, guys that's pretty much it it's actually brutally hot outside I did not dress appropriately but it was cold in Costco so I like to wear a jacket in Costco but then like wearing a jacket in like 80 degree weather so just didn't really work out but it's all good i'm gonna go freshen up costco was slammed and it was like in the middle of the day on a thursday like when is costco not packed <laughs> so let's go get our wax guys hey guys brad's being shy always <laughs> look at this big she won't look how big this looks she won't come to the mall with me I just got back from my wax. It went really well. Um, my wax, is it a wax tech? What do they call it? A waxing specialist? My waxing specialist is the bomb.com. And I did a tummy strip as well. And it was just, it was, it was painful, of course. But um, the more you get it done, the easier it gets. So, highly recommend. Whole fam's in the bathroom right now. But yeah, we, um... Riley's finishing up work in the next couple hours and then we have to finish packing just tidying up the place for the most part but it's pretty much clean thanks to Bradley and I'm gonna make myself a salad because I'm hungry Bradley ate today just a few more things on the list we do need to start packing so the whole prep and pack Jeez. blog was mostly about packing and I haven't even packed yet so let's make some food and then we'll get to packing <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Okay, so I'll go to the mall with you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, I'm about to eat my Caesar salad and finish watching Monet McMichael's vlog because I'm literally like 10 minutes until finished. I was watching it um, like the entire time I was at the dance salon. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that and chill until we start packing for real, like actually packing. And thankfully Bradley um, 
is going to clean the car right now. So that's one thing off my to-do list. So yeah, we really need to start packing. I kind of started yesterday, like organizing, but I'll show you guys once I'm, once I'm there, once I'm there. They still have them all up here, which is super cute. But here's like my household favorite storefront. So like, these are the Christmas lights that I use in my last room, having them in a pretty display. It's everything. This is literally the two on my bed right now. Use this one, and then this is just me. Just takes one text. All right, guys. So on to packing. You're not in a babe. Oh, you're in the mirror, I guess, technically. But you're, you're fine. Anyways, on to packing. So it looks kind of messy, but it's organized chaos. We have this box is like all the extra stuff that I purchased in the last month or two that will not be coming on this trip. These will probably be used in Mexico. Um, we have this black suitcase, which is a carry-on. We have this black like duffel bag. And then we have this checked um, bag, this like medium sized bag that suitcase that will be checked. So I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna use all three of these bags or if I'm just gonna need like two. Um, I definitely know this one needs to come. I'm just trying to figure out what's gonna be in this versus these two bags. And then I just have all my extra like packing essential stuff that I'll go through. Laid out my clothes somewhat according to day. And I haven't exactly decided what's being worn on what day, but there are options. So, or arrival to the Airbnb, we have just a pair of ripped jeans from American Eagle. These are tried and true, super stretchy, comfortable. And then I have two tops from JLux that are kind of like um, those one like wraps around the back and ties and then we have this like nude colored one and it's like an oversized shirt and it has like a cute twist in the front so one of those will be like when I get to the Airbnb and freshen up and then I put, throw one of those on to like welcome everybody and then Saturday morning we have UTVs so it's gonna be really hot but I have this like gym shirt one piece. It's just like a stretchy, like athletic um, one piece. So for dinner Saturday night, which will probably lead into going out, I'm in between this J Lux label, like bodycon kind of dress, short, it's above the knee. And it's funny because this dress, you can't even like fold this way because it has these like rods or whatever all the way down but this fits like a glove so that's really comfortable and if it's hot that'll be perfect and then i was also in between this so it's like a long i actually got this one off sheen it's like a long skirt um with this little like tie right here and then it's open so there's a slit all the way down long skirt and then it has this so it's like a little cropped situation so that's for Saturday. Then Sunday, we're doing a hike, pretty sure. So hiking clothes, I just brought some random tank tops, white, brown, just like tiny things I can pack easily. I brought some um, athletic like shorts and then I brought jean shorts. So these are just kind of like all purpose clothing. And then after the after the hike, we have a 1 p.m. brunch. And I'm in between this set that I got off Sheen, which is like, a, it's kind of giving like Tilly vibes. So it's like a short skirt with this top. So that's option one. Second option is another JLux dress. Don't know if you can really see on the white background, but it has like a cut here. And it's just like a long dress. This one's really nice and elegant. It's like this roped linen dress. And this one's really airy and light. So this might be a really good option and it ties on the side or you can wear it long. This one's probably the most breathable option. Not the vlog's opinion. I think that's fire. I like the colors. You should wear the hat too.
the hat doesn't match. Wait, what is this for? Brunch? I'm trying to figure that out. I'm not sure if this would be for Friday. Well, not Friday night. I guess this could be for brunch. This could be like a going out. Like a, is this too casual for dinner? Probably. Yeah. I don't know. I just saw this and I'm like, dang, this might be. Nice. No, this is really nice. Maybe just bring it as an option for something. I mean, you'll know. Like when you try it on, you'll be like, oh no, I'm going to wear this like for tonight or something. Okay. And here we just have a bunch of swimsuit options with cover-ups. So I got these from Skims, brown, just bikini, and then this really nice cover-up comes with it. The black, I don't, I don't remember where I got like This is probably like Amazon, but then I got a cover-up from Sheen. So they're all like long cover-ups, which I like. Um, and then I have this white tank, I mean tank, white bikini with this skirt. I wanted a second bikini bottom because this one's like kind of tiny on me. <laughs> That's why I'm definitely going to probably have to wear a skirt with it because this is like giving thong vibes. I have my one piece, one of my one piece um, white swimsuits here. This one's one of my favorites. Um, this was off Sheen. Then I have another one off Sheen. That's like... Um, I don't even know how to explain this one, but I'll put a picture. And then this is my white cover. It's like a full body thing that I got off Sheen as well. So everything's pretty much Sheen and J-Lids and Skims. Yeah. That's, I think, all the clothes I'm gonna bring in my suitcase. There's still a couple things washing right now that I have to add. Okay, moving on to like all the extra stuff. I'm bringing these slides that I got off Lulu's. These are gonna be like dual purpose slides, so uh, definitely probably gonna be wearing these around the Airbnb just because I don't like walking barefoot in other people's homes um, but also I might wear these out or like by the pool or something because they're pretty cheap so I'm not too worried about like messing them up and they're they're kind of giving like bride vibes so all this stuff I'll link below just so if you guys are interested next I picked up some Amazon goodies I saw these on TikTok of course and they came in a pack of four so I got them off Amazon and they're like those little perfume holder thingies. So um, if you haven't seen these before, you basically just like pump your perfume through the bottom and then it just acts as like a mini perfume bottle. So you can travel with it. See, it's like a little spray bottle. So this is super convenient. I put the Dolce and Gabbana light blue in the silver and then I put this perfume that my mom got me from France Blossom Garden never heard of this but I put that one in the pink and I could have brought this because it's travel size but it's like a really it's like a glass bottle so it's pretty fragile so bringing these bringing this portable clothing steamer is it upside down? no got this off Amazon last minute because a lot of my clothes is probably better off steam than ironed but that's just my preference so got that then I'm bringing all my nude boob tape stuff so this is the I think I showed this in a different blog but the um, adhesive remover spray the little nipple cover things and then this the lift i might not have to use this on this trip but this is definitely gonna come handy for my wedding dress we have our electric fan because it's like 100 degrees in arizona so this is about to be it. and it has two settings do you hear that i need this right now that feel good anyways so we have that what else we got we have our black girl sunscreen. They're snapping towels. Oh yeah, Brad got, hold on. Can y'all see that? Black girl sunscreen, the travel, travel size. Man, I should have got a higher SPF. This is only 30. Interesting. I'm gonna have to put that on like every 30 minutes. <laughs> and then I have all my little cheap, cheapy cheap uh, sunglasses. One's from Pre Little Thing, the other two are off sheen they're just like these kind of like types of plastic glasses 
I'm bringing all of these. And I'm a little iffy about bringing my, like, more expensive designer sunglasses on trips. I don't know. I just feel weird about it. But I might. I might end up bringing those. But I might just stick with all the, like, cheap ones. There's more. I got these, like, travel size little bottle containers. So I can bring all my products and lotions and creams and hair, whatever. Anything I need. Um, and they're cute because they're little neutral colors. I love that. So, I'll link this below. Or in my Amazon storefront. And then I got this really cute bag. I'm honestly shook at how nice this bag is. Like, it feels really nice. And it doesn't look cheap either, in my opinion. Um, and then it also comes with this strap, obviously, that you can detach. And it comes with this crossbody strap. So this is going to get some good use. And I didn't have, like, this neutral color type of bag. And it was much cheaper than the purse I was going to buy. I was going to get one of those, like, coach bubble... What did, what did the lady say it was called? I don't remember. But I guess it's viral on TikTok, but I was like, I'm not... Yeah, it's like a cloud something, but it was like four hundred dollars. I'm like, eh. It, it it is nice. Bradley almost convinced you. Oh yeah. And these are for Brad. I'm, I probably won't use these. Maybe we'll see. But these are these are like those snap towels. So I guess you put water in the bags, and then like you snap them, and they stay like ice cold. So you can put them on your face, on your neck wherever you need to cool off so it's like instant cooling this is gonna be great for the hike actually i might steal one of these for the hike. <laughs> i'm gonna lie <laughs> or the utv so yeah these are pretty cool they came in a pack of four those will be my amazon storefront everything will be my amazon storefront and then last but not least i think i showed this in the last vlog too but i got this purse offer bulk and these shoes from Nordstrom and they're open edit so this is to go with some outfits and I'm still missing a pair of shoes from Amazon which should be here by 10 p.m. that's what Amazon's saying so we just go keep the bait that they come in time okay so that's kind of everything I'm not going to show you like all the extra other stuff but we also picked up these packing cubes and I've never used packing cubes before so I need to figure out how to use these and like what bag is used for what I don't really think it matters but there's no instructions with these so I'm just gonna have to figure out what makes sense and I'm probably gonna use these all in the um the bigger suitcase because my carry-on like doesn't really need these so yeah this is just to stay organized and also it's good for products so that things don't leak and for shoes and it comes with a laundry bag too so you can put like your dirty clothes in it so let's get packing now because that's all the stuff but now we actually have to pack it so let's do that for you and your friends you know how i spend in h-o-u-s-c-o-n i get too crazy had a little bad enough we stay good friends we get too wavy all i know is that when this cup ends the next one begins my babe you know me and you know me back then and you know how it goes when i see you again you know i'm making my way to your ends and you know i need you to be there for me you a little post so baby you a little 48 baby got a little candy in a pocket she gonna take off like a you already know Dirtied up a couple more on the north side Text you but I know you probably cross side Know I gotta come and check the whole man baby Hold tight Which is cool! This is our first like hosted trip And we got adopted by some fit for strangers You know what it means when I twist these fingers Me and you being on a first name basis Why you think I hate it when you talk that Drake shit Same reason that you never left me hanging Same reason that I tried to make you famous Same reason that I tried to show you just who I was why is packing so hard <laughs> i'm like out of breath 
anyways guys it's a lot of time later and we've made some progress first of all can we just talk about this is the first time that i did my laundry and every single sock had a pair like there's not one sock that did not have a pair i always feel like i lose a pair of socks during my laundry i don't understand but anyways on to more important matters i'm gonna take you guys off my tripod so i can show you what i've done so far Okay, so most of these bags here are packed. Um, I still have to add, probably add some things once my other laundry load is done, but for the most part, everything's pretty much organized. I have my jewelry in there and all my little extra stuff in, nude stuff, shoes, toiletries, clothes, clothes, clothes. So I'm really happy about that. Um, these I still have to fill with all my products. I actually don't know what I'm gonna need. Maybe like body wash and maybe like lotion and I don't know what else. Cause a lot of my stuff is actual, actually travel size. Like my face wash, I still have some left. So I'm gonna just bring this. That should be enough. It's travel size. My night cream, which is the Neutrogena Hydra Boost. That's travel size. This is my setting spray that I put in here. I know it says hairspray, it's not hairspray. It's setting spray for my face. Actually, I don't even need to bring this because I have a setting spray in my makeup bag. So that's being left. Um, this is also for my nighttime skincare routine. And this for taking off my makeup. So yeah, I don't really think I'm gonna need much of those, but they're still good to have. Um, aside from that, so all of that is going to go in here. And then down here, we started packing my carry-on. It just has like the decorations and all that and the props and stuff, the balloons. Um, and then some of the games and stuff that we bought for the Airbnb. So that's all on this side. So I'm going to zip that up. And then I'm contemplating bringing these shoes, but mm, they might not get brought, y'all. They might have to stay here. I, don't know if I would wear white shoes, anyways. And then on this side, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna put on this side. I have my makeup bag, my um, nude thing, and other than that, yeah. I mean, I still have like my chargers, my laptop my iPad and all that good stuff but I'm still trying to figure out if I'm gonna bring like my Telfar shoulder bag and put like my laptop in there potentially um, it's just tough because on the flight I want to edit sorry I'm blurry y'all um, yeah it's just tough because on the flight I do want to be able to Sorry guys, I'm trying to set you up. On the fly, I do want to be able to edit, right? Um, and obviously I can't edit on my iPad. So that's something I have to figure out. Like what am I going to be using on the plane? It's like a six hour flight, I think. So I do want to be productive. So I'm probably going to bring, I'm probably just going to bring my laptop in my Telfar and carry that with my carry-on and then check that bag with all my clothes. And then I probably don't need my iPad, but I might bring it for Bradley if he needs something. Um, what else? Yeah, we'll figure it out. It's, it's not too much left to do. I'm gonna put um, these remainder things. I'm just gonna pop them in here. But I'm not going to close this yet because I'm going to probably use this tonight again. Sorry, I'm getting out of tea. Um, yeah, that fits perfectly in here, actually. Do it. I think so. Oh, it's a little tough, but it'll work. So that'll close there. And then these are going to go in here as well. Boom. And yeah. I'm gonna bring my phone tripod. Let me go grab that before I forget. 
I do need this, but I might do some editing tonight, so I'm not going to pack that yet, but I need this. And I'm going to bring this, my iPad. So that's pretty much everything. I just need to finish getting the last of my products and yeah, I'll check in when like everything's packed up and almost done guys. It's almost done. last minute run to the mall. Yep. So we're staying with you today. Brad's looking for a graphic tee and a neutral shirt. Yeah. Oh, you said a neutral shirt. Yeah. And I'm just gonna look at Nordstrom for some sandals. So yeah, wish us luck. Shopping at this mall never goes well. <laughs> you like Yeah, I feel like you've looked at these before. They're nice. My size, I could try them on. Yeah, try them on. I don't know what color I'd get. Try on a couple colors. I think these, these are pretty versatile, or this, but this is, actually, yeah, they have, I wouldn't get the white. Would you? Maybe like one of those, or these two. I'd just try them. See the winner. Sure. I don't know. I have no idea. Hopefully, the lines aren't too long. Hopefully, he did. Secured the bag. Secured the bag. So excited to eat before starving. Bradley found a shirt. All is well. All is good yeah. in the world. Just gotta finish packing. We're gonna go home, watch one episode of Insecure. Two. Yeah. We have nothing what? to do. Like, we're all packed. Like, what else is I there? I thought we had to clean the sink. It's gonna take like an hour. I just didn't want to like mope around and wait to pack. And then midnight comes and I'm like, oh, we gotta pack. Oh my God. Oh. Okay, fine. One and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that mope was my dad. Is it? Yeah. Hey guys, so we're back home after the mall, Whole Foods, Chick fil A, all that stuff. We got our shoes from Amazon, the finishing touch for packing so I can close up my suitcase. So hopefully these match. No, that's not for you. Pass. Pass the ball. <gasps> Good girl. Oh, I play Daffy. <laughs> Go get it, Mama. Um, so yeah, these are the shoes. Hopefully they match the purse, which I already packed away, but I'm pretty sure they match. Oh, these are cute and they're square toe. They're so cute. Look at these. 
These are beautiful. Babe, they're so nice. Yeah, they're really nice. I can't wait to try these on. These are about to eat. Okay, perfect. And they're close enough to the bag where I think they'll match. I don't know if they'll match the bag, but I think they will. So we'll see. Pack those into my suitcase and then um, I just have some last minute things I want to do um, in terms of like self-care stuff before I leave. So I want to oil my scalp with this Daily Elixir by Sienna Naturals. Um, I picked this up from Nordstrom not too long ago, but um, this is really great. And because I have braids, I just want to give my scalp like one good oil down before I leave just in case because like I'm gonna be in the sun and stuff and the water and I just don't want my scalp to get dry but I also don't want to bring this whole bottle we're gonna try these whitening strips tonight so that'll be fun um and these are I got these off Amazon too they're non-toxic and enamel safe peroxide free and I actually brought these to my dentist to ask if they were safe for me to use. And she was like, I use Crest White Strips, but she's like, there's nothing in here that alarms her. So she gave me the okie doke. So we're going to try to whiten our teeth before the trip. I'm really excited. Then other than that, I need to do some like derma, derma planing. And I want to clean my ring and my jewelry. And yeah, then we should be done. So let's just do that and then we should be good to go. Okay, let's do this. We'll put too much because it's even coming out. Oh, yeah. That wasn't open all the way. <laughs> there you go. Feels so good. Mm -hmm. You want to help me oil the back of my head? Sure. It's the part that I can't see. Where'd you start? Um, just get like this part, like in the sec, just like a little bit everywhere. Don't put too much. Just like in the middle. Do I massage it in? You can like squeeze it on, like lightly squeeze. But do I massage it in? I can do it. Oh. So your hands don't get all wet. The other side, actually. Don't know if you got this side. Uh... This feels good. My head. Thanks, babe. Oh. You want some on your head? <laughs> I knew he was gonna say no. Oh, yes, yes. I actually got this because Issa Rae uses this <laughs> in her hair. And I was like, oh, yes. I must try. And I love it. it smells really good, too. It smells very natural. Okay. So that's done. I think I might put a little bit, I know it's, it's really like your hair too, so I'm gonna put a little bit on the top of my braids. I think Ava wants some. Do you want some? Sure, she would mind. <laughs> okay, that should be good. Whoa, damn. Damn. I think now I'm going to dermaplane my face, so I have to do my skincare, wash my face, and then use my Michael Todd dermaplaning tool, so I'll show you guys that. Alright guys, so um, I'm probably just going to time lapse through this because it might take a while. I apologize if you can't see me too well, but I have to look in this mirror.
think we got everything. I'm gonna take another cotton pad and we're gonna put some alcohol on that and just wipe off all the oil and extra hair. I need different cotton pads. It's for the Target ones and they're just kind of cheap. Okay. That's it guys. And then I'm just going to wash my face again and just do my regular skincare. And that's it. Fresh face. Fresh and hairless. Love it. Alright guys. Well, I'm all packed up. Um and ready to go for the morning gotta be up super early so it's like 10 o'clock now and i should probably get some rest um we're gonna do our teeth whitening but i'm just gonna do it off camera because i just want to like tidy up the bathroom a little bit for my mom and i'm probably gonna do it like right before bed so I appreciate you guys hanging out with me if you're still watching i love you so much i appreciate you i hope you guys enjoyed this pack and prep vlog if you like stuff like this let me know because i will definitely keep doing stuff like this um or just if you have any ideas of things you want to see please comment below let me know and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel turn your post notifications on because we have a lot of content coming um i have like four videos I need to be editing right now and working on so yeah lots to come guys lots of travel as well especially next year but for this year we're moving we're getting married there's so many things so make sure to subscribe oh and don't forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok for scottsdale content because i'm probably not going to vlog there but i will be making short form content and keeping up with you guys that way okay bye guys good night